Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm here at Search Engine Strategies in London with Jim Stern, one of the founders, I think, of internet marketing. <laughs> Thank and, you. And <laughs> uh, you've been working a lot in the area of web analytics, uh, which for a lot of our viewers may be a term that they don't really understand terribly well. What, mm. First of all, what, what are, what is web analytics? What is? Simply put, it's measuring the success of your website. So the very basics are, what do people do when they show up? How many people show up? What do they do when they get there? Do they accomplish their goals? Do they accomplish your goals? Um, and how do you change your website to make it easier for people to, to use? Okay, so that's kind of the, the big picture. What mm -hmm. kind of tools do you use to measure these things? There are a couple of them. Um, first of all, I'm going to measure the click-throughs and the page views. What are people looking at? Where do they go? Um, that's classic web analytics tools. I'm looking at my log files from my server. I'm looking at uh, putting page tags on individual pages so that I can track what people are looking at. Then I also want to measure what the outcomes are. Did they register? Did they subscribe? Did they comment on the blog? Did they buy something? And then finally, attitudinal. How do they feel about it? Um, customer satisfaction and, and do they have any complaints? So I'm, it's, it's three things. What do they do, what do they say, and what were the results? Okay, different tools sometimes to measure those different things. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, are these tools expensive to get started with? Uh, they range all the way from yes to no. Um, <laughs> so we've got tools at the upper, upper end that, um, they're, are they expensive? They're valuable, how's that? There you go. Um, these are tools that can measure the Nats whisker. Down at the, the bottom end are free tools, and the one that's the most commonly in use is Google Analytics, which is free. It's a very powerful tool, it's a very useful tool, but, and it will take you a good solid halfway there, mm -hmm. uh, which for a lot of us is enough. Exactly. But then you get to a point where you go, boy, I really need to segment mm -hmm. my customers, I really need to know more about what's happening inside the shopping cart, I really need to... to, to to pinpoint and optimize very specific things, okay, now you need to start spending money. Okay. Now, it's one thing to have free tools, mm -hmm. but to really know what to do with those tools is half the battle. So yeah. what's this piece of it? For a small to medium business, they're likely not yeah. going to have someone on their staff who really understands all this stuff. What are the options? Mm -hmm. I guess one is training. You put on a conference several places yep. in the country and I guess in the world mm -hmm. that help train people to do this. Yes. Uh, can you hire consultants to do this? How is this done? Yes, and there's, there's a big business. The easiest thing to do is you go to any of the web analytics tool vendors and they have a partners button. Okay. So there are a lot of certified Google Analytics analysts um, and they can help. But, but, but we'll start off easy, start off simple. I want to know how many people are coming to my website and what are they doing when they get there just from the very basic get-go. So that's something you can do yourself as long as you can continuously look at the reports and determine that, gee, when I spent money over here on, oh, say, search, uh, did it, it bring more people and did it bring more of the right kinds of people? Mm -hmm. Then when I want to get to really optimization, I really want to tweak my website and make it better, then I'm going to bring in an outside consultant okay. and get somebody to say, oh, these numbers correlate to those numbers, and for all the other clients I've worked with, we found that if you change this, good outcomes will happen. Mm -hmm. Now, if your CFO, if you're big enough to have one, mm -hmm. if your CFO says, <clears throat> why are we spending money on this, how do you answer that? Geez, the, the, the CFO is my favorite person to talk to because it's about accountability. It's about return on investment. I want to measure whether or not my website is successful. I'm spending a bunch of money on my website. Is it working? This is a tool that tells me not just, yeah, it's okay, but, but when I make a change, was it a change for the better? And as I continuous, continually make changes, am I improving things? Right. And this is something that, that the CFO says, oh, oh, marketing accountability. Oh, yeah, I want some of that. <laughs> Well, Jim, thanks for taking time to talk with us about some of these things. My pleasure. Uh, tell me about this conference that you put on. It's the eMetrics Marketing Optimization Summit. It started out as uh, the eMetrics Summit, the Web Analytics Conference, but now it's not just web analytics and it's not just the, the website optimization. It's optimizing your marketing because as you spend money on promotions, whether it's print or television, anything, you see results on your website. So if I'm measuring everything on my website, I'm actually 
tweaking and optimizing my marketing. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today.